on my way to Nashville. I'm a little overwhelmed this morning, but working on the Today is going to be a good day. Hi, I'm Kay Choi. Welcome to another week in my life as a consultant vlog. This is a very exciting week because there was a mix of working from home, which I usually do on a day-to-day -day basis, but also going into the office, traveling for work, and then working on my side projects like Samcha Podcast, which is the podcast that I host with two of my friends, Megan and Christine. It's in our third season right now, so just a little plug for it there. Before we get into the details of this week, I wanted to thank Atlassian for sponsoring this video and tell you about how I use Confluence to stay organized with my podcast co-host. And staying organized is very important when I'm juggling a busy week, which you'll see in this vlog. So first of all, my friends Megan, Christine, and I record and collaborate on our podcast remotely because we're all in different locations. And in the week of this vlog, I was in New York, where I currently am right now in my apartment. Megan is in LA or was in LA. And then Christine was in yeah, Korea. We're just waiting for Christine because... She's actually in Korea. She has a crazy schedule. If you're unfamiliar with Atlassian, they have products like Jira, Trello, and Confluence that help streamline teamwork and collaboration. Atlassian's products connect teams so that the innovation and progress that would be impossible alone is possible together. Confluence in particular is a remote friendly team workspace, which means it's a great way for my podcast co-hosts and I to stay connected on deadlines, ideas, and to-dos. Using Confluence, we can streamline and organize everything we need for our podcast in one place. We've got episode topics, launch dates, and can tag each other with action items, deadlines, and status updates. And of course, we can collaborate on all of this in real time, no matter where we are. Confluence is of course also a great tool for professionals, especially if you work in cross-functional teams like I do as a consultant. You can use templates to help you build out your team's spaces, do real-time brainstorming together, and keep track of timelines and milestones all in one place. You and I and everyone else on the internet Internet also knows that AI is on the rise or has risen. And Atlassian has an AI powered virtual teammate called Atlassian Intelligence, which can do things like summarize decisions and action items from meeting minutes in Confluence or to find test plans for product updates in Jira. And these are just some examples of how Atlassian can help teams work even more efficiently than ever before. Again, as someone who is very busy with work and YouTube and everything else going on in my life, staying organized is really important to me and Confluence is a great tool to help me do that. To learn more about how Confluence powers the teamwork to tackle any project, no matter how big, check out the description box below. And thank you again to Atlassian for sponsoring this video. Happy Monday, everyone. It's a new week in my life vlog. I am grabbing my, hold on. I'm grabbing my water bottle here while I'm holding this camera um, and heading to the kitchen. I, it's about like 8 a.m. right now. And I cleaned the apartment. Um, over the weekend, so it looks really nice here. So clean. I even like dusted under the credenza and everything. Um, there is already some mess starting to form here um, just from over the weekend. So just before I get started with the workday, I'm gonna do some tidying up. Got some cups here to wash as well. So we're gonna start the day with that. So I had a client meeting on Wednesday and it was in person all day. I have this like big pile of stuff on my table. These are all like posters and things like that. I need to go through these and uh, put together a summary of all the stuff that we decided on with that uh, client team. There's one poster here in particular that I need to like get organized on because in about an hour, is it? In an hour and a half, I've got a meeting um, to go over it with my internal team. So I'm gonna do that real fast just so I am prepped uh, for that session. <music> Um, and then these are just some additional key themes that were captured on some sticky notes. And I, yeah. Yeah, so I've got it pulled up on the screen here. Um, and this is kind of oh, yeah. cleaned up from, right. from that previous version a little bit. Yeah, that's what I do. It's like, okay, I feel like I wanna like exercise more. So I'm just gonna sign up for something. So I'm forced <laughs> to do it. And so in terms of some design needs, I'm working on the session three summary. I was not having the best day yesterday. Like I just in the middle of the day got very overwhelmed uh, with a couple of projects that I'm on that just 
have a lot going on, especially this week. Still feeling a little overwhelmed this morning, but I do have a good chunk of time today to like really be able to get some work done. So hopefully, you know, after today, uh, the week will be feeling a little bit better. like two hours of calls and now I've got a nice uh, big chunk of time uh, to do some work but I'm starving so I think I'm going to make some kerenbap literally translates to egg rice got some rice here from yesterday let's make some kerenbap so I threw in some soy sauce but I also have some leftover kimchi juice never throw out your kimchi juice I'm gonna add this in as well my quick little meal so normally i would add some sesame oil to this as well but i'm pretty sure my sesame oil went bad so i need to get a new one but there's so much flavor in the kimchi juice so that's why i never want to throw that out mm. i just had a really productive couple of hours and specifically the last 30 minutes i just got a bunch of stuff done um, and now i'm about to have three hours of meetings um, it's like a mix of different meetings, like internal working time, some like weekly team meetings, and then a meeting with my direct report, who I'm I'm her people lead, her manager, and then a client meeting, a weekly client meeting slash check-in. So uh, I am already a minute late to my first meeting, so I'm going to go join that right now. I put together something for us to look over. Was Hera's tour. Oh, it is 7:15, and I rarely work into the evenings. Like I, I will usually finish up my work as fast as I can, and if I don't finish, um, I'll just go into the morning. But it's just the work this week. I think I mentioned earlier in the vlog, this is just like a pretty overwhelming, busy week. So anyway, it's after seven. I do still have some more work to get done, but um, got to eat dinner. And Dane picked up this like chicken bowl from Guy Chicken. It's this like spicy thing. I don't know. It's so good. The sauce is amazing as well. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. So going to enjoy this meal and then watch shrinking if you're let me know if you're watching shrinking on apple tv plus um i think it's so good having a lot of fun watching that um and i got like garlic in my throat but anyway gonna eat and then get back to work soon everyone it's a new morning i feel so much better because i slept early last night um i ended up falling asleep at like 10 so it took me like an hour to fall asleep i think it's 7 a.m right now and i i'm gonna just like get right to work I was considering going on a run this morning but i think i might just do that later um sometimes running helps me you know just de-stress and forget about my worries but if i just like have some stuff i need to finish i cannot uh relax so um, i am going to get some work done and then maybe we'll go for a run after that as a little reward also like look at this the sun is shining through like today is going to be a good day but it is like a little bright so i need to close the blinds <laughs> The first thing I'm gonna work on this morning is a summary of the client meeting that I had last week. Remember I showed you like all those posters and materials. So I transcribed and like updated some of the things, you know, based on that, on that you know, all that content, but I haven't done the official meeting summary yet. So that is what I'm gonna work on cranking out this morning. Basically, I have the template from the previous meeting that we had with this client. And so I just take that, save a new version, and then update it with all the stuff from the most recent meeting. All right, it's like 9.15. 
almost 9 15 a.m i got so much done this morning i finished that summary i was telling you about and then what else did i work on i did another thing but i my brain feels fried but uh i have like almost two hours until my next meeting at 11 a.m so as you can tell i'm gonna go on a little run i feel so much better because i got um that thing done off of my to-do list and now i can just have a nice relaxing run just gonna go really slow today just like easing back into it because i have not been super good about following my marathon training plan but the weather is nice and just gonna get some endorphins going for the day still in my running gear which is why i'm off camera did you um is it a Central Park loop? Um, not the not like a full loop. I just kind of went up and back, like on one side. All right, I'm filming Tamcha. There's Megan. Uh, we're still waiting for Christine, but we are in the middle of season three, and. Uh, well, we're in the middle of recording season three, but it is launching at the end of June. But I think by the time you see this video, it'll be season three will be blah, blah, be <laughs> season three will be up and running. So go check it out. Go follow us. Um, blah, blah, blah. The little spiel we do at the end of every episode. <laughs> Christine's here now. Say hi. Hi. already thursday which i cannot believe um let me just show you what my living room looks like right now we did laundry yesterday and i just ordered another one of these racks because i was like you know hanging extra laundry on the chairs is not gonna keep cutting it so i uh, did a bunch of laundry there's like stuff hanging on the armchair there too and then i've got my suitcase because i am going to nashville tonight uh, for a meeting tomorrow got a meeting this morning virtually that i need to head into the office print some stuff see my coworker for lunch come back go to the airport so it's gonna be a gonna be a day <laughs> so that it's really clear when we go over with the client next week. I'm at the airport on my way to Nashville tonight. <laughs> so that's me. About an hour and 26 minutes to uh, Nashville. We'll check back in closer to the descent. Enjoy the rest of the Alright, it's almost 7 p.m. I actually got here like 30 minutes earlier, I think, um, which was nice. And I am in my rental car now. I'm in Nashville. Uh, gonna go see if I can have some dinner somewhere. So my coworker actually went to school in Nashville, so she sent me a few recommendations. So I'm gonna take a look at those and see if there's any that I feel like checking out tonight. All right, made it to the hotel. And you know the drill, we're gonna grab the luggage rack from the closet and get my bag set up. Before I get ready for bed, I am just going to take a look at some emails and um, documents. There's some stuff that my teammates were working on um, for different projects. So I want to take a look at those before those get sent out at the end of the week, which is tomorrow. I can't believe that tomorrow's Friday. And then the, the other thing I'm going to do is just charge my laptop so that it's fully charged for tomorrow. I'm going to like restart it because I'm getting that like annoying restart notification um that you just keep snoozing because you're busy doing other things um so i'm going to restart it so i don't hopefully don't have any issues tomorrow i didn't even say what tomorrow is so tomorrow is a focus group test so we've developed like a workshop um that we're rolling out in the beginning of august and so we've got a focus group test tomorrow to run through the draft material it's kind of like a dress rehearsal but like a step before that because all the stuff is still like really rough and we just want to get um, feedback uh, to then make it even better so that's what tomorrow is it's like a six hour so like almost the whole day 
uh, meeting. And then I will head right back to New York after the focus group test. I am so dumb. I forgot my um, face wash, first of all. Uh, I did ha I do have my makeup remover, so I was able to remove my makeup, remove my makeup. I have my retainers in, so I can't really talk. Um, I used bar soap to <laughs> wash my face. Um, and then I also left my moisturizer at home and my sunblock. I don't even want to, I'm just going to pretend that that didn't happen because I don't want to think about not putting on sunblock tomorrow. But um, I did have like a sample of this like um, Aesop. It's not even like a moisturizer, but it's like a face, face oil type of thing. It says like antioxidant facial treatment. Um, so I have like this sample that I had in my little cosmetics bag. So that is a tip is I, whenever I get samples of things, I just like put them into my travel toiletries bag. Um, and then I can like use them up while I'm traveling. Um, however, that is my last sample now besides some like perfume samples. So yeah, I cannot forget my moisturizer again, or I need to stock up on more samples. But anyway, I thought I would just share you know, how uh, today was kind of hectic. So clearly I didn't remember to pack everything for this trip. <laughs> I feel like my outfit is very 90s, very chessy from The Parent Trap. Um, I've got these, these are from Levi's. They're just this like white um, chino, I guess. I don't know what this style of pant is called. And this is my black Reformation sweater top that I wear all the time for client stuff just because it's easy, it's stretchy, it's comfortable. It also has like a full half sleeve, um, so it just feels like conservative for certain types of client meetings. And then this is from Madewell from like years ago. Um, I honestly like just pulled it out of my closet recently because I haven't worn it really since I bought it. Um, but I like it. It's different than the usual blue chambray shirt, um, but still gives a similar kind of vibe. I don't know what this is. And then shoes, I've got my new balances on and this client is pretty casual, like they wear jeans. So um, that is why we're going with this look. I've got my tote bag with um, some materials for the meeting. Can you see right there? Um, I always like try to pack a tote bag because you're gonna have like sticky notes and Sharpies and posters and whatever. Um, and it's just much easier to carry like this than stuffing it into your bag. Yeah, it's almost 7 a.m. So gotta go down. Downstairs. It is about midnight, just after midnight. I just got home. I'm making some uh, chicken nuggets in the air fryer here. The meeting went really well. Like the workshop we made, like overall was hitting the right objectives. There's like some things we have to change just to make things more accurate, but overall very successful. So really happy about that. It's a great way to end the week. I got a notification in the middle of the meeting that my flight was canceled and it was rebooked to tomorrow morning. And so I um, got on the phone with the travel agent uh, um, and was able to get on a different flight um, for tonight. So luckily I was able to make it home. After the meeting, went downtown actually because uh, my coworker and I had a bunch of time to kill before our flights. And we took like a quick walk around Broadway, which is the main street with like all of the, the bars with the live music and all of that. So it's like a very famous Nashville street. And we also went to a food hall there called Assembly, which I don't know if it's new, but I've never seen it before. Overall, it was a really long week. Uh, got a lot of stuff done this week made a lot of progress on my projects so I'm happy with uh, how it went now I'm just waiting for my little midnight snack of my chicken nuggets they're actually vegan ones or impossible chicken nuggets that I get from Trader Joe's but anyway Thank you so much for watching this week in my life vlog and thank you again to Atlassian for sponsoring this video I will see you in the next one bye